My name is Ahmed al Kisuki. I'm an oral surgeon and implantologist. I'll be talking about the difference between dental implants and dental bridges. I've been asked so many times from my patients when to go for dental implants and when to go for a bridge. Dental implants and dental bridges are replacements of missing teeth. I'm going to discuss now the pros and cons of each of them. Let's start with a dental bridge. A dental bridge is a false tooth that is attached to the neighboring teeth. So basically you have to grind the teeth next door, the one on the left and the one on the right, in order to have a false tooth that is retained in place to replace the missing teeth. The advantage of the dental bridge is that you can finish it in one week. Only in two visits you can finish the dental bridge. It's cheaper than dental implants and can be done to patients who are medically compromised. The disadvantage of dental bridge is grind, which means that you're going to shave and grind healthy teeth in order to use them to retain a false tooth to replace the missing tooth. The second disadvantage of the dental bridge is the lifespan of the bridge. Usually the bridges would last between five and seven years. In some cases, they can last up to 10 years. How about dental implants? Dental implant is a screw that's placed inside the jaw bone that after a few months, a crown or a cap can be placed on top of it to replace the missing tooth. The advantage of the dental implant is that there is no need to grind or shave the neighboring teeth, and instead you only place the screw in the site of the missing tooth. The other advantage of the dental implant is the lifespan. Usually dental implants would last between 15 and 20 years, if not more. The disadvantage of the dental implant is the duration of the treatment. It usually takes three to six months in order to be placed, but in some cases we can put the crown immediately after implant placement, but this only happens in some selective cases. The second disadvantage, the dental implants cannot be placed in medically compromised patients, especially patients with diabetes or bone problems. We usually decide when to go for dental implant or dental bridges according to the patient's overall health condition. So make sure before replacing a missing tooth, to understand your options and which one can you go for and which one would give you a better durability and result. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get all the new videos. Thank you.